Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordering numbers. In this tutorial we will learn how to order numbers which have a combination of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division problems. So let's have a look at the example we're going to be working through. Here it is. On the left hand side we've got A, B, C, D. And they've got a mixture of addition, subtraction, and multiplication problems. On the right hand side, we've got four boxes. At the top is the smallest, and at the bottom is the largest. We have to reorder A, B, C, D from the smallest to the largest. So, how do we do that? Well, the first step, as in previous tutorials, is to work out the answers for each options of A, B, C, D. So let's do that. We're working through A. Work out what is in the brackets first. 8 plus 3 is 11. And then we have to do the remaining bit. 11 times 6. What is 11 times 6? The answer is 66. And you know that from your 6 times table or even your 11 times table. Now on to B. Well, B is simply 74. It's the number on its own. How about C? Again, we start with the brackets. We got 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is, uh, sorry, 12 minus 4 is 8. I'm going one step ahead. And then we've got 9. So we've got 9 times what is in the brackets. It is 8. 9 times 8 is? 9 times 8, 72. And lastly, we've got D. And D is a addition problem. So what we do here is we simply add the units together first. So we add the 7 and the 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. And then we add the tens, which is 4 plus 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. So in no time at all, we have worked out the answers to each options of A, B, C, D. Now we can begin to order them. So which number is the smallest? Let's start with the smallest. We've got 66, 74, 72, 69. Well, the number which begins with 6 is going to be the smaller ones. So that's either 66, it's either going to be this one, or this one, 69. Now let look at the units. Well, we've got 6 and 9. We've got 6 units here, and we've got 9 here. So which is the smaller number? It is 66. We'll just, just put a circle around it. And that is A. So A is the smallest. And if A is the smallest, the only other number which begins with 6 is D. This must be the smallest after the first one. So that is D. That leaves the two numbers which begin with 7. They've got 7 tens each. Look at the units. We've got 4 here and we've got 2 here. Therefore 2 is smaller than 4 and C is the next smallest number. That leaves only B with 74. And that is how we order numbers with a mixture of problems. Firstly, solve them, and then secondly, you can begin ordering them. 